Hello everyone, welcome back. It's really good to see you again. So, I don't know about you, but for me, when I get to the midpoint of a year, I suddenly have this realization that six months has gone really quickly and there's only half of the year left. And I panic a little bit about that and start to analyze what I've done in the past six months and what I've still got left to do and have I achieved enough. Now, I am a little bit of a perfectionist in that way and I'm a little bit critical of myself. So when I start to have these feelings, the good thing is, is that I recognize them and I kind of calm myself down and say, you're doing amazingly, reflect on all the great things that you've done. And then I like to just check with myself and just do a few things to bring the positivity back and just really focus on the next six months to make sure that they're amazing as well. So in today's video, I thought it would be nice for you to spend a day with me as I practice some self-care and wellness to relax myself and just take stock of what's happening in my life and just de-stress. So I thought that would be fun to do together. If you're having those feelings as well, maybe this will help you out. So I know that they say that you shouldn't really fix problems with buying stuff, but it is called retail therapy for a reason. And one of the things that I like to do when I'm feeling a little bit stressed or feel like I need to make some changes is to buy things that will help me do that. And I don't mean going to the mall and spending thousands of pounds on clothes that I don't need. I mean investing in a few key pieces that will improve my life. So I've heard about this brand called Lily Silk, and actually the hoodie that I'm wearing now is from them. This is a cashmere hoodie. You may think, why are you wearing cashmere in the middle of the summertime? Well, I can tell you that the weather here in Edinburgh is, as usual, not the best. And this is one of the things that has been bothering me so much, is because you see the weather everywhere else in the UK. They're having sun, they're outside, and here it's grey and raining. So even though I try not to let that get me down too much, it does affect me and I feel like I'm missing out on summer. So yeah, I'm wearing this cashmere hoodie from Lily Silk and I loved it so much that I thought I would get some other things as well. So the first thing that I decided to get from Lily Silk is some silk bedding. Now, the reason why I decided to do that is because I do a lot of research about sleep. For me, it's one of the most important things in my life. If I don't sleep well, it really does affect my mood and my day. So one of the things that I learned about silk bedding is that it is um, very good for maintaining your skincare. So when you're lying on cotton and other materials, it kind of creases up and over the time you will, that will really affect your skin. Whereas silk, it's tightly woven and obviously very smooth. So that's, that's gonna prevent that happening to your face. Another thing that I really suffer with is allergies. And um, I read that silk is very good for preventing dust mites, dust, and allergies. So sometimes I do recognize in the summertime I'm coughing a lot in the middle of the night and that is I do really suffer with allergies so I thought this would be great for me to try out and see if it helps to improve that for me. So even though I said the weather hasn't been very great in Edinburgh it is still quite humid and warm and one of the things that's been affecting my sleep is being too warm at night. Now I sleep with a window open 365 days of the year. I like to have that cool breeze coming through but it's still not enough. So another great thing about silk is that it's very good at regulating the body's temperature. So in the summertime now, it's going to help you to be more cool. And then in the wintertime, when it's freezing in Scotland, um, it will help you to retain some body heat. So I'm, I'm going to try that out and see how it works for me. But yeah, I think it might be overall a very good thing for me to incorporate into my lifestyle. So yeah, this is the bedding. And then I've also got another cashmere jumper because I, I like this one so much. And it's just a simple style, a um, crew neck, navy blue um, cashmere sweater. So I'll show you that later on as well. But yeah, I thought that this would help me to boost my life a little bit and uh, just make these small changes that really do help to improve every day. I've always believed that how you sleep is what sets you up for the rest of the day. There is no point in having an extensive morning routine if you didn't get a good night's sleep. Preparing your environment is key if you want to have the best rest possible. That's why I'm looking forward to sleeping in my new Lily Silk sheets.
I can tell you that the feeling of silk is the ultimate luxury and I can't believe I didn't try this sooner. Lily Silk is really a one-stop shop for everything silk and the quality of the silk is what makes the product so special. As I said before, they only use 100% natural premium materials. As well as bedding, they also have blouses, pyjamas and other great gifting items that are loved by some of my favourite celebrities like Anne Hathaway and Gwyneth Paltrow. Sticking to a set routine always helps me to stay balanced. I like to go to the gym first thing in the morning, then come home and make breakfast before getting ready and taking a walk. But one of the things that helps me to feel more happy and relaxed at home is when my home is clean and tidy. And even the act of cleaning itself helps me to unwind and relax. So I'm going to be making my own dusting solution. Now this is a dust repellent. I found it online about a year ago and it really does work. I used to have to dust like once or twice a week. I've got a lot of stuff in my house, as you know. But since I've been using this, I probably have to dust every other week. It really does keep the dust away. So in this jug, I've got about half a cup of water. And to that, I'm going to add about half a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. You can also just use plain white vinegar. So that's going to go in. Then I'm going to use a tablespoon of olive oil. This olive oil has lemon and rosemary, so it's an extra added scent. And finally, I'm going to be adding in a few drops of dish soap. This is in Ecova washing up liquid with lemon and aloe vera. It's good for the environment. And this just gives an extra kick to your cleaning arsenal. It's 5.30 a.m. and I've had an amazing sleep in my new Lily Silk bedding. Um, usually I get too warm, but actually last night I found that the silk really does help to regulate the temperature of your body. I stayed cool, it was soft, and I slept like a baby, so that is amazing. I'm up really early because I wanted to have a nice walk and Actually, Vanessa is travelling down to London this weekend, today, in the car, and she invited me along, so I've decided that I'm going to go. I think sometimes when you're in a bit of a rut, uh, it's good to get out of, this, of the, the place where you are, even if it's just like for a little road trip. So I'm going to head down to London. I always love to go there. Uh, all the fun things that I like to do. A lot of the times when I'm in London, I'm there to work. So this one is just going to be for some rest and relaxation. A lot of people may think that, you know, why are you going to London if, it's, uh, you, want to, if you want to relax? But actually for me, it is relaxing because I get to see some friends, go for nice dinners, drinks. It's just a bit, a bit of a different vibe to Edinburgh. Also, when I go to London, I feel so inspired and I feel like I need a bit of a top up of inspiration at the minute. So um, Vanessa's moving into a new house in September and it's going to be amazing. We're very excited about it. So we're going to be looking um, around the interior stores, shopping for things for the house, just getting some inspiration before she moves in. So I thought that I would join her on this trip. And then after that, I'm going to get the train 
back home to my parents' house because it's my niece's fifth birthday and she's having a Harry Potter themed party. So I'm going to be going to that. So I'm very excited about just getting out of Edinburgh and having a nice change of scenery, a bit of a rest and a bit of a top of inspiration. So I thought that it would be fun for you to come along with me. So uh, we're about to leave in the next 15 minutes. So let's go and do it. So it's eight hours after we last spoke. Vanessa and I drove down to London. It was a bit of an intense journey. It was quite hot in the car and the AC wasn't working properly. It was kind of blowing out like a half cold breeze. So we were very hot and it just seemed to take forever and ever. But we're here now, we're in Primrose Hill. We wanted to go to our favorite restaurant called Limona, but uh, they've stopped serving food. We got here quite late. And actually most places have stopped serving food. So we are here at Oka, which is a Pan-Asian and sushi restaurant. We've got a nice cold beer and a nice bottle of sparkling water. So we're very refreshed now and we're just waiting for some food. So it's nice to be here. It's already boiling hot. I mean, when you get out of the car, you realize how different the temperature is from Edinburgh. It's like being in Spain here. So it's nice and warm. Already the sunshine has hit my skin and it kind of gives you that vitamin D and that boost that I was looking for. So I'm feeling happy and relaxed. I'm looking forward to something to eat and a nice evening here in London. So as you can see, Primrose Hill is a really beautiful little area of London. It's kind of like a village within a village. And that's what I like the most about the city is that it's so huge and there are so many different towns like this where there's just something new to see all the time. But yeah, this is one of my favorites because of that village feel. That little high street that I just showed you is so pretty with all of the unique stores and boutiques. I just love going there to just have a look around the shops even if I'm not really buying anything, it's always good to just walk down there, have something to eat, have a drink, and just it just feels very relaxing to me. And then you've got these beautiful streets, gorgeous London townhouses with all the different colours, pastel colours down here. Everywhere you look, it seems there's something beautiful to see. So it's very uplifting, makes me feel full of inspiration and is one of the reasons why I just love coming to London. It's really warm here, so we've decided to sit down under this tree and have a bit of a cool off. Last week I posted this bag on my Instagram because it's quite new. And one of you messaged me and said, have you ever seen the series on Vogue called What's in the Bag? And I have seen that, it's quite fun. And they asked me if I would do that. So I thought that I would share with you what is in the bag. And I think it always tells a lot about a person, so let's have a look. So the first thing is my laptop. Now I've had this for about two years. It comes with me everywhere I go, just in case I want to write down a quick email or take photos and then send them to my phone. I always like to have it with me. I think it's always useful. It's not that heavy, so it's great to have it with me all the time, just in case I need it. Then here I've got a book. This is called We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and I've been reading this for about a month. It's taken me a while to get into it because I'm constantly busy and Sometimes when I'm traveling, I have to do other things like write emails or write blogs. So I haven't really had the chance to get into it, but I am starting to really get into it now. And it's becoming very gripping. It's about um, an American upper class family in the US and they have a holiday home on an island that they go to every year. And it's about what happens every year that they reunite on the island and it's full of uh, twists and turns. So that's a recommended read. And in this bit, I've got sunglasses. Now, these are new. I got these about three weeks ago because I left my other ones on the train. So I really like these. I just like very simple, elegant styles of sunglasses that I know will last me for a few years. And actually I'm very good at 
looking after my sunglasses, the ones that I had last time, I had them since 2015, so I managed to keep them for a long time. But I actually have to wear sunglasses probably 365 days of the year. When I used to live in Dubai, you get used to having to wear them every day because it's so sunny, and then I found when I come back to the UK, my eyes were, you know, even when there's clouds, I find that I'm squinting, so I have to wear them every day, and it helps me to see properly. Then I have my eye mask. And this was a gift, but it's actually come in very useful because a lot of the times I'm traveling, sleeping in strange places, and I've found that if you wear an eye mask and you can keep the room as dark as possible, you're gonna have a better night's sleep. So I found often that sometimes you get like rooms where the curtains don't close properly or the blinds very sheer and the room's bright, and then you're not gonna be able to sleep well, so I always have that with me as well. And it's also good for traveling on planes and trains. Next, my passport. So I keep this in my bag because you just never know when you're going to need it. There's been times when I've been traveling, like now I've come to London and I might need to get a flight somewhere. So it's always good to have the passport. And then my keys. So yeah, travel everywhere with my keys. Obviously I need to get back into my house, but it's a good reminder of home. And uh, when you're traveling around, it's nice to think about always going back home and the place that grounds you, so my keys. And that is what is in the bag. To finish off an excellent day, I'm heading out to dinner with friends in my new Lily Silk cashmere sweater. I love simple clothing and this definitely fits the bill. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode and found it fun. I look forward to seeing you next week, but until then, take care.